Hello everyone, my name is Cecilia Sun and I'm a lecturer in musicology at UWS Conservatorium of Music. I'm here to give you a brief historical overview of the history of the concerto to help you study for your ATAR music exam. While you will need to know specific information about your set works, you will also need to know how the concerto developed from the Baroque period through to the 21st century. The concerto as we know it today is a multi-movement instrumental genre featuring a soloist or a number of soloists playing with an orchestra. The concerto was an Italian Baroque invention with the earliest works dating from the last decades of the 17th century. There are two general types of Baroque concertos, the Roman school of the concerto grosso and the Northern Italian school of the solo concerto. The Concerto Grosso was essentially a trio sonata amplified by a Concerto Grosso, literally a large ensemble. This kind of concerto alternates between a small group of soloists, the Concertino, and an accompanying string orchestra, the Ripieno. The Concerto Grosso is either in four movements, slow, fast, slow, fast, like the church sonata, the Sonata da Chiesa, or it is a prelude followed by a number of dance movements, like the Sonata da Camera or the Chamber Sonata. Corelli's 12 Concerti Grossi, written for the most typical concertina of two violins and a cello, are some of the earliest examples. These were most likely composed in the 1680s and published a year after his death in 1714. Inspired by Corelli, Handel published his own set of 12 Opus 6 Concerti Grossi in 1739. Now the solo concerto, which slightly confusingly can actually feature more than one soloist. The solo concerto is defined by two main things. First, it is in three movements, fast, slow, fast. And second, it uses the ritonello structure in its outer movements. The Ritonello structure, which comes from the Da Capo aria, is relatively simple. So there's a section of music called the Ritonello, which simply means returns, and it returns throughout the movement, as you can see here. The Ritonello sections are mostly played by the orchestra, and in between you have episodes, which is where the soloist plays. The composer most responsible for establishing the solo concerto form is Antonio Vivaldi, who wrote over 500 concertos, mostly for the young female inhabitants of the Pio Ospedale della Pietà, one of Venice's four orphanages where Vivaldi worked for many years as a Catholic priest. Many of these concertos featured the solo instrument of the Baroque era, the violin. But Vivaldi also wrote concertos for bassoon, flute, oboe, cello, and even less common instruments such as the mandolin. Vivaldi's concertos were hugely influential on Johann Sebastian Bach, who transcribed at least nine of them and adopted the Ritonello structure. The example I want to play for you is the violin concerto in D major, which comes from Vivaldi's famous opus three, Lesto Armonico, his first published concerto collection. I had said earlier that the Ritonello form is relatively simple, which it is, but it also lends itself to many, many different variants. So here again is your typical Ritonello form. And here is the form for the first movement of this concerto. Note the addition of a very brief introduction and the interjections of the soloist into the tutti sections and vice versa. I'm going to play for you the opening of this concerto, performed by my UWA colleague, Sean Lee Chen, with the UWA Chamber Orchestra. This clip will take us through to the end of the first episode. Listen out for the way in which the performer set the introduction apart by playing it at a slower tempo. And note also how the sections are differentiated, not by material, in fact, they share a lot of motives, but by the contrast between the large group playing the ritonello and the smaller group, the soloist, and the smaller accompanying group playing the episodes.
composer who defined the classical concerto form was Mozart. His prolific output in this genre included 23 mature concertos for the piano and pianos, five for violin, four for the horn, and one each for flute, oboe, and clarinet. The classical concerto retains the fast, slow, fast, three-movement structure of its solo Baroque ancestor. The second and third movements are more varied in terms of their forms, but the first movement generally follows this structure. You can see that the, the, you can see that the concerto form is a combination of sonata form, which you will be familiar with from the symphony, with the solo and tutti alternation of Baroque Ritonello form. Indeed, Mozart's earliest concertos were simply arrangements of existing sonatas to which he added orchestra Ritonello sections. The distinctive classical concerto element is the cadenza, which occurs towards the end of the first movement and which was, in this time period, improvised by the soloist. Mozart wrote his concertos for specific performers, sometimes himself, sometimes other virtuosos, sometimes his students. He wrote his final concerto for the clarinetist Anton Stadler. For more about the basset clarinet Stadler played, there is a great video with UWA graduate and one of the world's leading authorities on the historical clarinet, uh, Nicola Baud. And you can find a link to this video in the description below. I'm going to play for you a clip of this concerto with my colleague Ashley William Smith performing on the modern clarinet with the UWA Symphony Orchestra in 2019. Note the way this was performed as it would have been in Mozart's day without a conductor. This results in a more chamber music-like style of performance. Note also the collaborative relationship between soloist and orchestra. The soloist plays with the virtuosity that defines the genre, and the orchestra is in turn supporting him or playing in dialogue with him. from this series will cover the concerto from the 19th century. Thank you for watching. If you study at UWA, you can do as little as one unit in music or your entire degree in music. You can study many different aspects of music, from musicology through to one-on-one -on -one lessons with a leading teacher on your instrument. For more details, head to our website, which is linked in the description below.